Hello and welcome to another one of those videos about artist and acuity. I'm just here to spread the message on how to get the simplest amount of uh, artist and acuity in the shortest amount of time and how you can easily start setting up your ingenuity builds and how, how you can do most of the things that all these um, content creators who make gold do. Now, I want to start off by saying that I took 100,000 off of the auction house because i don't know the specific amount of numbers that need to be added you could say um but i will give you all the details later on first of all what we want to do is we want to learn enchanting of course this is the main thing but i also want to warn you before getting into this whole thing that you do not need to throw away enchanting to make gold enchanting is probably the second best option to have if you have a lot of alts don't drop enchanting trust me there's a big video coming on the way i recorded it before this so just hear me out first of all we need enchanting vellums we need bismuth rod so that we can craft things okay we'll do the glimmering haste i have this in the the bank but it's not fair to you guys so i'll be spending the gold to show you the full process so if I had the Brutosaur now, I do, wouldn't have to fly around. Uh, anyways, buying the Storm Dust will be key. While you're at the auction house, uh, you have to buy a few more things. First of all, I think 250 will be enough. Uh, if we spend 10 on an average, we'll spend even less, don't worry. Um, so you don't have to spend all that much. Anyway, buy the Leyline Residue. Uh, we'll be needing 23 of these, worst case scenario. And we also need viridescent spores. We need 23 of them. So make sure that you buy them before everything else. The next goal is going to be getting to, I think, level 25 to get our first specialization. Once we do that, we will be able to get, I think, like 110 artisan acuity. So... We just get in here, we start crafting these things. You don't even have to equip the bismuth rod. You don't have to worry about the minor details. So, um, fortunately, I'm just going to cut the part until we get to the yellow part. Alright, so we got to skill level 10, uh, which means we can learn new things. Now, you don't have to learn all of these um, if you don't want to spend gold on, and, and if you have your own plans of how you do things. But I will get this enchanter fully maxed out after because he's going to be making me 6,000 gold every single four days. And since I have a lot of alts, well, simply I'll be making a lot more. So now I'm just making a critical strike just to get to level 15. Now we'll be getting um, something different, but I think it's really fine if you want to get skill points uh, to craft the yellow ones because I can make 47 of these. So I'm just going to abuse it until I can instead of spending 10 and getting sure points. 25 is going to be the thing. Uh, we get the spec and oh, we have this guy. Okay, we have nice. So go ahead and buy the refulgent crystal. Uh, I think this is like the, the weekly thing. So we just get the refulgent crystal. And this is what we'll be giving out for the quest immediately. But damn, this mount really is <laughs> doing a lot for the community. I mean, for the gold makers, definitely. I'm not even glazing it, but the only reason I talk to it, talk about it like this, is not like a promotion for Warcraft. It's mainly the fact that I can farm it and that I'll do that. After getting to level 20, I'm just gonna learn these recipes, but what we do is we make silken avoidance until level 25. And after you have level 25, you are chilling. There we go. So with that, we have unlocked the specialization. The one we go with is ephemerals enrichments. I don't know if I butchered that, but you take that. Uh, you need five points here and then you learn the deceptive decorations. It doesn't matter that I don't have the points now. I will give out the quest. Do the weekly quest by giving the refulgent crystal. And with that, you'll be rewarded with uh, three more knowledge. 
which of course we will spend in this. You only need five. Do not waste your points. You'll see that why later. And then in deceptive decorations, we will be needing 15. But before that, there is something that we have to do. So I don't have this weak aura for everybody. But um, if you just watch the video, you'll realize what I'm doing. So I will get this rod. So I'll just go into the crafting orders. I'll get this rod that's here. And then we get this one time quest. Now, you just have to simply speak to this guy. Boom. And most of you, most of you will probably think that the enchanter satchel is the best. But honestly, it's not. For this character, I think I'll also get jewel crafting instead of blacksmithing. So I will get the satchels of ore instead. And with that, you open up the satchel. Surprise, 350 artisan acuity. The main reason why we did the quest is so that we can enable getting powdered fugilance in crystalline repository because these will enable us to get the catch up mechanic. So everybody does this process like simply by just going flying around seeing where the disturbed earths are or opening the chests and that really is the best way sometimes i get them immediately but sometimes it takes a quite amount of time to get them so you see this thingy open it up hopefully i get it on the first try never mind we won't be getting on, on the first try this is like the worst thing i could have gotten oh we got it nice okay so yeah these are still valuable Vi viable Vi yeah Anyways, uh, now we need the Powdered Fugilance. So the best way, if you don't want to download the Weak Aura, I really don't have the link, I'm sorry. But uh, the best way to really do this is you need the yellow thing and you need the pink thing. That's pretty much it. Now, I hope that I get this one soon and I have to enable auto loot. Okay, I see you, spider. You got it for me, right? Yes, nice. So we have it. Uh, we got the both powdered fugilance and the repository which i'm gonna go return back to dornogal it's not worth it to hearthstone you will learn both of these right there and that will lead you to get this shimmering dust which means we'll have to disenchant a lot of things unfortunately now as you can see it's still red but it doesn't mean that we can't get it so after we learned the fugilance and the repository what you really want to do is go ahead and buy the Dark Moon decks. If you were to buy the Dark Moon decks one by one, you would spend a lot more gold. What's worth it more is getting these two threes and just crafting them all together. So if I was to do a little bit of math this week, the week that I'm posting at 129, 130, 135. So we need 135 of these. Just get all of these th thingies. Spent around, we had 90k, now we're on 76. So like four, 14,000, which is not too bad. And now what you really want to do is you want to craft all of these. And as you can see, we have these Dark Moon Deck symbioses. And then we disenchant all of those. So this will be coming in handy if you have a macro. Um, the macro is simple. Just cast disenchant, use the Dark Moon deck symbiosis. Also, I like to put in these um, decks to craft them on my panel. And I just spam these buttons. And then after that, we just disenchant them simply. Uh, this is also where I want to give you some additional information. If you want to, uh, you just spend a little bit more time to get designated disenchanter. And if you're not going to have enchanting, you could basically, you can make it a little bit less expensive if you get this spec. But this, I mean, I, I don't know why would you drop enchanting after this. Enchanting is such a good way to make gold. But um, yeah, just getting these down and then look, I'm just going to disenchant it. Get these uh, other thingies first so you get the fleeting manifestations first then you'll get one to rule uh and then shimmering dust comes later that's why we calculated beforehand on how much you need them 
as you can see now we get that gleaming one and shimmering dust becomes green and it's all about the shimmering dust now see so i get shimmering dust and we can get 128 of them so after all of that when crafting one you can see that we get artisan acuity and it's the same with the manifestations and the telluric ones so after all that's done we can simply go ahead and proceed with the next step so i'm not going to disenchant them all now i just want to make this video a little bit quicker um, what you have to do is study these things first so that we spec into this real quick now i already put my six points you have to get it to here just like so now you'll get a bunch of recipes and these recipes are the reason why you bought Leyland Residue and Verdescent Spores. I got a guild invitation. Cool. Anyways, this will really help you out a lot because now you can craft these. And these will give you Artisan Acuity as well. So just go here, first craft bonus, and start crafting these. Just look at the Artisan Acuity. Easy. And then you just do another one and get down all these 22 pieces. You just want to get all of these crafted. But this is not the end. Most people and most of the guides, they tell you that the end is here. You just need this for that. The answer is no. You can craft orders by doing these gleamful glamour thingies. So you have these orders in your enchanting. And then you can get like 30 and... 10 artisan acuity so you're not really done with with this these crafts let me show you so if i go ahead and get lila and residue i think i'll need three more additionally and i will need three more veridescent spores just like that get on my horse go to the enchanting table i think i have enough skill to craft for people crafting orders patron look so you have these three things and then 10 artisan acuity for free for free but you know you have to use concentration which is a little bit unlucky or you could just invest a little bit more and buy higher quality storm dust but i really don't mind for now um, i'm gonna use my concentration so this will be 10 artisan acuity 10 artisan acuity yet again yeah i know that using concentration here is a little bit bad but it's fine and then we also want to get this one, which will yield us 30. It's the same craft. It's the same whatever. But you get 50 artisan acuity. Now, I this is my I found about this today. And I'm sorry that I don't have the information. So whenever your uh, patron thingy refreshes, I think that you're able to get artisan acuity all the time. So if that is really the case, uh, if it's not a one weekly thing, I think that you could farm artisan acuity far e more easier than any any times like with anything else. Also, if you have another profession, it's going to be even better because the other profession will also give you the bonuses for artisan acuity. Now, this is the thing. Just crafting these gleamful glamours until the end will be getting you all of the artisan acuity needed. Okay, so this is the last illusion that we have. And all of this give us skill. So at the end of this video, you'll have a ton. And when I say a ton, I mean a ton of skill. And what I recommend you to do is get everlasting enchantments and just build with ingenuity, really. But now I have to craft all of these uh, Dark Moon decks and then I have to disenchant all of them and then I have to get my Shimmering Dust. So I'll just show you this process once and I'll cut the video when I have everything done. So you create the symbiosis deck, you disenchant it with your macro, and then you get shimmering dust. And then you just craft the shimmering dust and you do this 123 times. All right, we're in the thick of it as case I would say. Uh, we only have two more pieces. And in total, turns out that we have made 1225 artisan acuity ladies and gentlemen that's it so with that out of the way we have 151 points that we can spend in enchanting and as i said i will not be 
wasting enchanting at all. I'll get supplementary shattering, everlasting enchantments. I'll just have an ingenuity build on this. And in total, in general speaking, I spent about 24,000 gold. Disregarding that I wasted storm dust, I wasted Leyland Le Le residue and stuff like that. But I think that this goes to show that you can really, really get things done simply. And I don't think that it took less, it, it took less than one hour to do all of this. And then really all we have left is to spec into something else. So with that, if you wouldn't mind, subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Stand the fuck up.